If I could only have one guitar, then it would definitely be a Telecaster. In this video, I'm going to break down five different reasons why I like Telecasters and if I unfortunately only had to have one guitar, why the Telecaster would be my choice. Let's get into the video. The first reason is that the Telecaster is probably the easiest guitar to make modifications on. If there's something you don't like about it, you can pretty much change it without too much hassle. For example, because Telecasters have bolt on necks, the neck is quite easy to change. If you get a Tele that has a neck which is not comfortable, then you could get a decent neck off up from Warmoth, I think it's called, or Roll Parts or somewhere like that without too much hassle and you can easily replace the neck of your telly. Likewise, you could change the pickups, you could change the ports. It's much easier to do those kind of modifications on a Telecaster than what it is on say a Strat or a thin line. If you ever have to work on the ports or something like that on a thin line, apparently they're absolute nightmares to work on. So Telecasters are just so simple in their design which makes them ultimately very easy to mod. So that's reason number one, their easiness to mod. The second reason why I like Telecasters so much is because of its simplicity. <laughs> I think Telecasters are beautiful in their simplicity. A little bit like me, <laughs> or any classic design that's basically stood the test of time, right? You know, if you think about a good pair of jeans, for example, then, you know, 20, 30 years ago, you could see someone wearing jeans and they look good and they still look good now. 40 or 50 years ago, someone would be playing a guitar like this, they'd look good and they still would look good with a Telecaster now. 50 years into the future, this guitar is still gonna be a timeless and classic design. And that's one reason why I like it so much. And it's so simple as well, right? It's just two pickups and it's a volume tob volume and a turn knob only there is that's all that you need um, to be honest with you and when you're working in a live situation or something like that I find having less so much easier to work with and these knobs in particular um, I find much better than a strap because a strap is very easy to knock accidentally knock the volume knob whereas these are kind of out of the way and you can still grab them fairly easy if you want to do volume or turn swells or turn adjustments or anything like that it just, to me just has that kind of classic look, you know, the kind of simplistic look, which has really kind of carried well over time. And really, as many Fender Telecaster enthusiasts say, Leo got it right the first time. You know, the Strat was always about kind of putting more onto this, but it's kind of funny how this one really stood the test of time given that it was really just kind of an experiment. And I guess, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I imagine that Fender was always trying to make the later models like Strats, Jazzmasters, Jaguars better than what came before it. So, you know, in some ways, this was almost like a prototype that was really, you know, in some ways, never more perfected than what it first came out as. The third reason why I like Telecasters so much is that they challenge you, okay, to play any Fender guitar. Um, and really just a Telecaster can really kind of force you to be um, a more sensitive and a more delicate player because um, every time you play a guitar that's got single coil pickups I feel like they can be more revealing and that there's less to hide behind than humbuckers so if you give someone a Telecaster then they've usually if they want to play jazz then they've got to have a certain touch to kind of be able to get away with playing a Telecaster and even if you're kind of more into playing blues or rock or something like that then they're so responsive to what you play so that's another reason why I like a Telecaster. It really challenges you to kind of bring the music out and um, really, you know, all the adaptations to tone that you get can all be found within your hands. You know, if you get, you know, even just a simple amp, say something like a Pro Junior, which hasn't got any channels or any EQ or anything like that, you can give, say, a simple amp and a Telecaster to a great player and they'll be able to coax a wealth of different turns from a Telecaster. 
that leads me on to the next point, which is the Telecaster tones. Now, I'm not really making the case for the Telecaster being the most versatile guitar because although you might be able to make a case for that, I would probably say something like a 335 might be the most versatile guitar in some ways. What I'm talking about is the tones that the Telecaster is known for. For example, you know, the back pickup is fantastic for getting country sounds and rockabilly sounds. That middle pickup has such a chimey articulate sound which is great for strumming chords, blues playing or even just finger picking. For me being a jazz player, the other sound is the neck pickup. For me, the Telecaster neck pickup is one of my favourite jazz tones. And you know, I've got and I've played lots of great arch tops, but there's something about the Telecaster neck pickup. It's not, arguably, it's not as fat or as well rounded as say, you know, a jazz guitar humbucker sound in an arch top or something like that. But it is very articulate, which is a sound that I like. And if you listen back to the Telecaster players, Jimmy Bryan, Ed Bicker, Ted Green, etc., then what more can you want when you hear those players? If, if they got that from some kind of variation of this pickup, then there must be somewhat of that which is um, achievable just from mere mortals like me. So that's the, the last sound is the Telecaster neck pickup. <laughs> That leads me to the last point, which is another reason why I like Telecaster so much, is the players. There's kind of like a, a bit of a Telecaster culture, isn't there? There's even a, an entire forum online which is dedicated to uh, Telecaster guitars, which I think was one of the first um, guitar forums. But there's also kind of, you know, the association with kind of the country guitar sound. There's all the jazz players, both kind of the classic jazz players that I mentioned, and some of the more modern contemporary players that also use Telecasters. So they've got kind of that um, status symbol as well. And I know that, you know, especially being a jazz player, just because so-and-so plays it is not always a good reason to play it. But equally, you know, if you kind of, a lot of us watch with our eyes, don't we? And when we're watching top players play Telecasters, then I think that kind of, um, no matter how much you kind of want to kid yourself, it doesn't, it has a knock-on effect on kind of what you think of um, certain models as well. And um, the players that are associated with this have certainly kind of set a, a, an impressive legacy. So that would be my final reason. So those are my five reasons why I love Telecasters, but I'd also love to know what you think of Tellys. If you love Tellys, what are your favorite reasons for having Telecaster guitars like what I do? If you like this content and you want a free guide on learning jazz guitar, then please check out the link below to a free beginner jazz guitar guide. Thank you as always to my Patreons that help make these videos possible. If you'd like to support the videos and get PDFs and downloads and things like that, I have an abundance of jazz guitar resources on my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.